Men jag måste som någon gång en bedåg få hjälp Jag kunde back on a long adventure Maybe a perilous one Survivor looks and hurts Things are happening Things are happening, don't you know Things are happening Things are happening, starting to show October 2nd, and we're heading out for another epic adventure on the Bruce Trail. Heading from Noisy River to Devil's Glen. Back today with hiking companions Steve Hayes and Murray Hamblin. It's gonna be a seven hour video today for this 30 kilometer hike because there's just beauty everywhere. I heard there's tree gnomes around here. Make some plans, meet some friends, get in your car, and we're off on an adventure all day long. All day long. And you might as well just settle in. Just gotta let the day unfold. What kind of wonders are we gonna see today?
Catch a glimpse of Georgian Bay, which will be absolutely awesome. Will have meant that we have hiked from one great lake to another. So the next half, second half, is all revolves around Lake Huron, and uh, that's going to be next year's season. And Lake Huron is gorgeous. When we started this adventure back in March, winter had just recently ended and the days were nice and the world was brown. No leaves on the trees. Very deciduous area up there, so not too many coniferous trees, evergreens. And no plants growing up out the forest floor, just everything was kind of monochrome brown. And then you got the blue sky and then the blue lake, Lake Ontario in the distance. And we watched the spring come and I've talked a lot about that. We watched all the plants come to life and the trees sprout leaves and animals come back, the birds came back, butterflies, and then through the summer and um, beautiful summer it was. And now it's October 2nd and we're super lucky because we have another extended summer day. Beautiful. 25 degrees, sunny, but there is an autumn wind, nights are getting cold, and the leaves are turning. And in a few more weeks the leaves will have fallen and we will have come full circle through the seasons and uh, just uh, absolutely amazing experience even just for this one year to connect so deeply with the seasons and what happens on the earth as the seasons change and it's been a real real joy and incredible experience Of course, if you're a farmer, you know the seasons. 
and you every year you watch the earth come to life and then the earth settle back down again in the fall and close up for the winter. If you're a gardener, um, if you're a stargazer, Sometimes we pray for rain and it doesn't come, doesn't come. The land is parched and waiting for the water like air to its lungs, air to its lungs. Sometimes we want to be alone, but we don't have a chance. Don't have a chance. Crowds all day, no peace at home. Oh, to find a quiet spot on a crooked tree branch. Sometimes we feel that there's no hope and the days to come seem dark. Seem dark. The air is thick and choking. The fire has found its spark. But when the rain comes down with the sweet and luscious sound. That last one I had back there. One day we get a chance to be alone at last. A deep exhale of moments peace. Reflections on the past. A new day looks now bright, like spotting a lighthouse in the night. Side trip on the keyhole side trail. We'll see what happens. What if the rain you want keeps coming? Or the solitude doesn't see? Or your optimism overshadows truth and your are deep in the freaking bowels of the earth <laughs> it feels like it yeah Damn, can you yeah. shine your light up here for a yeah, second you bet there you go oh my god that is so awesome <sighs> you okay steve yeah. that's pretty dark yeah, it is pretty cool, eh? Pretty neat. Oh, sweet.
walking meditation. If you can, if you're able, walk. Not only is it good exercise, but it's that rhythm. It's that rhythm that we need. It's like uh, living meditation. So I'll promote the land and promote getting out into the land and appreciating the land, protecting the land, respecting the land. I'll spend my life promoting the land. Diamonds. <laughs> oh, there he is. Single people are economic slaves to the state. I like he used the maybe turn of the century farmer or uh, 1860s, maybe even, or 1880s. That is wild. There's but something there, too. If this is a hundred years old, at least, yeah. Have this kind of edgy sentiment. Do a little dance. Make a little love. <laughs> Get down tonight. If this train runs me right, I'll be home tomorrow night. Cause I'm 500 miles from my home. From my home. And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow. Whistle blow. Thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen.
down to the Mad River. Flowing pretty good. up the day another kilometer or two sun's going down and days are getting shorter now we're about a day and a half from the halfway point pretty exciting hope to get that done by November try to do a bit in the winter and back at it in the spring for leg two season two end to end hiking the Bruce Trail. A real beauty. well-lived day when you start with sunrise and it ends with the sunset when you're outside walking the land the entire time that is a well-lived day so the day comes to an end looks like we're at the car at Not Concession 10 South Clearview Twip. That's where we're at. That's where the day ends. No view of Georgian Bay yet, but I think it's coming up. Yeah. 